Hello, people. How y'all doing? I um, just came on for a little bit. Um, but before we do anything, let's get off into a prayer. So I'm going to take my hat off again. Um, thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch your words and guide us throughout this day, Father God. And order our steps. And I pray, Father God, that you come through me, Father God, at this moment in time, Father God, in order to give them absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, at this moment in time, Father God, that you bring that you let the Holy Spirit come through me. And to give them absolute truth, Father. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father. Amen. So, what's going on is, you're actually seeing the falling away happening. I'm probably going to talk about two or three topics, but uh, you're seeing the falling away happening. Um, the falling away of Babylon, the falling away of... Uh, Falling the way of Babylon, the falling the way of uh, this um, whole infrastructure at this moment in time. You see, the old has to be uh, removed in order for the new to come in. Like I told you, you don't want this new world to come, but it's already here. There's nothing you can do about it. Earth has invaded, I mean, heaven has invaded earth, and it's here. So the first and the second heaven has fallen away, it's fallen away, okay? Um, things are playing out in the world, okay? And it's gonna keep playing out. Um, this is God's prophecy, no man, no, beast, no, nothing can stop his prophecies, like I told you, and if you get in the way of those things, um, catastrophic things could happen, um, these are divine orders that he's putting out, and this, that has to go through, they have to go through, because he's spoken it, and everything has to come to pass, and everything will come to pass. Okay? Um, it's a lot of nonsense that's going on in the world right now. Um, but a lot of people, you know, coming up against other people and things like that. But that's okay. For there will be peace on this earth. There will be peace on this earth. But a lot of nonsense, a lot of other things have to fall away. Um, he's coming for judgment of the wicked ones. He's coming for judgment, just period. You know, but um, the things that people don't understand, they thought that it wasn't gonna come. It's here. And Some don't understand what's going on in the world today because they're not in this. They're not in the world. Okay? If you're not spiritual, you're not going to understand because you're not woke. This is why they used, this is why they kept trying to come after the woke people. This is why they don't like the woke people. Because the woke people know the truth. You hear me? They know the truth. And when you know the truth, it's hard to hide it. You can't hide the truth anymore after it's been exposed. So you can try and cover it up all you want. It still will unravel. However many times you try and cover it up and still unravel. See, right now is the time where it's unraveling even more. 
Like I told you, y'all gonna see a lot of people being exposed at this moment in time. But Lord, it's not playing. He's not playing. He's on the seat. <laughs> He's on the seat. It's time. It's time. So, what's going on is, they've done everything that they wanted to do. It is the lowest time now. Okay? So, the following way is happening. I mean, you see some a lot of things going on, like a lot of things going on, especially with the kids. Like I told you to bring your kids out of the schools. It's really getting serious, guys. It's really getting serious. Bring them out. Stack up on um, food. Stack up on water. Um, um, Just, just in case for right now. But a lot of people don't even know that the Lord is coming. He's, he's at hand. He is at hand. Right here, right now, he's at hand. And they don't even see it. But when they think that the things that they think they're gonna get away with are not gonna get away, that's just why it's, it's happening. <laughs> the Lord is, he's judging it. He's, he's, he, I'm telling you guys, Father, it's nothing up for me. You see, he's been marked and going through things for so long. So it takes wisdom. It takes a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And a lot of um, self-control to hold yourself back from everything people have been saying about you, doing things to you. It just, it takes a lot, and that's that's power. It's in itself, it's self-control. And that's something I've um, kind of like come into. Um, it's been times where it's been some spirits and demons just been just ramping at me and just just instead of just instead of just shooting them at me and, and you know I mean instead of just pouring them on me instead of bringing them to me and sending them out at me and I have to fight these things every day. No one I don't think no one goes through the thing. I don't, I can't say this though. I can't say it for everybody, but I know I'm going through it. And I fight these things on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't speak to no one about these things. But I fight these things on a day-to-day -day basis. This is why I know the things that I know. This is why I'm able to give you the insight of what I know. The Lord has told them to stop these things. So now, he knew they weren't going to stop it. The Lord is already 5,000, 6,000 years ahead of time. He knew they weren't going to stop it. So, the iniquity of their sins has overflowed the cup upstairs. It's pouring out. So therefore, his wrath and his judgment will be poured out. And it's not just the wicked one sins, this is everyone's sins. This is the wicked one sins. This is, you know, they, they're a very big part of it. <laughs> but it's also the people of the world also, you know, and they don't look to him for help, or they don't look to him for situations like this. At the moment when these things were supposed to be happening, it was supposed to have been people turning to him. He was gonna see, he, this is just to see if you're gonna to turn to him for some, a situation that's bigger than you, that you can't overcome, that you can't handle at the moment in time. Would you turn to him? This was to bring you back to him. Now, 
I do know that this situation is going to go on. That a lot of people who did not believe are about to become believers in the Lord. Because I told you, he's going to show himself in a major way. But you're going to see him. And you're going to know that it's him. He shouldn't have to show you this side of him in order for you to come to him. But not only that, now you're saying that all your, the ones that you follow, the mask coming off. And now they're trying to push things on you and all that stuff there. So, the Lord has come for, to save you out of this wickedness. You understand? If I were you, I would turn back to the Lord. I would repent. And I will ask for forgiveness of my sins at this moment of time and ask to get saved into heaven. Because the time is at hand. Guys, is at hand. And we right in the middle of it. You hear me? So, whatever you do, keep fighting. And keep fighting a good fight. And you keep moving. Not only that, is that it's not going to go the way they think that it's going to go. The Lord is going to pull up a stand against them. For they don't know, and they don't think that him messing with his children, that he's not going to come. He's gonna come. That I do know. He's oh yeah, that I do know. He's going to come. Right when you think he's not, that's when you see some things <laughs> beyond this world. And when you see it, just get down on your knees. Get down on your knees because see they try to hide that the Lord is not coming. The Bible is already playing out. It's already here. It is already here. So, for those who are not spiritual, would not know of these things as I speak of, but those who kind of even just, not even just spiritual, but have read the Bible and know what the word says, you know, you know, right now, at this moment in time, I pray that people come to him, and there will be billions of people coming to him at this moment in time, because now, they're going to see what they have been dealing with for so many decades, so many years, and so much of history. The truth is out. The cover is pulled off of people's eyes. Now they're seeing who and what these demons are. So now that you see it, it's time to take a stand. It's time to unify. And I pray and I prophesy that people do unify against this at this moment in time because it is more of us than it is of them. They understand. So therefore, you have the power to come together. It doesn't matter what color you is, green, red, white, yellow, or blue. This is the thing I've been telling y'all. They have been trying to divide people because they have all different types of colors of people in their organization. 
that goes out and separate people from dividing people from from people. You understand? This what you have to know. This is the thing. Everyone has to come together. For there is separation in religion, ethnic culture, nationalities, colors and race. But there is no there is all coming together in the kingdoms. You see, kingdom brings people together. Religion separates. Understand this, I speak of. I've been telling y'all this for the longest. And these are the things I teach. Because it's true and it's real. So, I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord at this moment in time. And that y'all, um, Get into some fast and some praying, get in the word more, talk to the Lord more, build a relationship with him, commune with him. Um, these, this, these are the messages that I have for you today. And um, this is God's good news for you today. And y'all be blessed. Amen.